Hi everyone, I'm Annie here. Yeah, today I would like to share with you my new project that inspired by this gorgeous lady. Her name and I don't know how to pronounce, so I better yeah just show you. <laughs> and yeah, and this uh she is a very talented and creative. Yeah, she make all the difference of the fabric doll, teddy bear and mouse and others. Everything she made is so just gorgeous. But Today, I would like to share with you, it's not a teddy bear, but it's a otter purse. It's a, like a coin purse that inspired by her. She, uh, I believe she crocheted by her own self. But I, yeah, for me, uh, for, uh, what I did is, uh, part of the, yeah, I just crocheted it, uh, it just, but, uh, let me to show you here. Yeah, I this one is the vintage style that I made. So yeah, I have this is very small. It's a coin purse. What I did is I just layer with the doily that from my stash in the cream color. Front and cut and print all these roses. This is one of my favorite pattern. Yeah, you can see the back. It's a coin purse. I haven't removed this. Uh, the like a keychain yet so I just want to show you later I will remove it yeah this is a bag I just cover with the and I will have the video to show you before how yeah before the uh, purse how, how yeah how the purse look like before it water okay and the purse yeah keep in my stash for so long and yeah so yeah I just grab it out and uh, alter this because when I okay, sorry, I use my handphone to record, not just a short video, so I didn't use my camera. So, yeah, it's quite difficult. Yeah, this purse is keep in my stand for so long, but I, when I say, uh, send the purse that uh, this gorgeous lady made, if she posts on Facebook, and I just can't resist to start to grab my bag out and just start it <laughs> look at this and what i did is i layer with the doily and i crochet and yeah i have been so long didn't crochet i think yeah three or four years i believe it's yeah quite sometimes maybe a couple of years I, I forget yeah lucky yeah i just i still remember how to crochet <laughs> yeah just make a simple chain uh, like a scallop uh, 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 edges I just I can see I just uh, hold this yeah because the this part also have the um, doily and the front also and I join it together and yeah crochet like so so this is the vintage style and I use the chain to as a um holder so i will hang up here first because yeah once i start the something new project that i just cannot stop but because because of i yeah only have two of this kind of the purse left so i just can make two <laughs> if not i will just con like, yeah hard to control myself so yeah this is a shabby shake one and i this is yeah that inspired by her uh, she make this i have to find her because it's so dark i'm pretty sure you can see it clear okay so we put here and yeah she make a like a white color so i seldom to make any yeah something in white uh, yeah i know this Maybe this is the first one I use the white to make my projects. So yeah, this one also. But this I you can see a layer with the doily and the lace, and the underneath I also use the muslin fabric. So you can see, I cover with the uh, doily. This is from my stash. I didn't crochet it. This one, and what I did is I just crochet the edges in the scallop so yeah and see i add the fabric 
flour and uh, cheesecloth and like so so yeah this is so pretty and I just love and yeah well, yeah just hang it here and show you so yeah just love and so yeah even I quite busy for my kid now but I just want to give it a try to make something and so yeah I just make this one and have to continue my kit and yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite corner in my craft room and yeah I plan yeah intend to do another room tour uh, video to show you all but still have no time later I'll show you how messy my paper and oh yeah this one I think I forget to show you all before this is one of the teapot uh, milk album that my sweet friend CC yeah made for me so I uh, and I show you the cup this one I have to glue the, this here so yeah you can see I use the yarn uh, you have to use the teapot as a base and glue all the yarn and let it dry and yeah take it out so you get this cup here and the saucer so and I add this printed rolls that uh shabby shape rolls and, and I have a the tutorial to show you how do I make this flower so yeah so that's so and very simple and I just add the, another my favorite the uh, image rose image on top here and just perfect to put this tea pot in and put the flower here so yeah hope I hopefully I have the time to show you all my uh, craft room and yeah you just type the name on Facebook and you can find her page and she do all the gorgeous store and I do purchase from her before let me to show you what I bought okay look this is what I bought from her it's a ballerina it's a mouse cause yeah you need yeah she uh have take the ballet, ballet dance lesson so yeah I just love this one when I saw this and so super pretty and all the handwork I will bought one is a blue another is the pink just so pretty and this another ballerina this is from my dear friend Margaret uh, MRST7 on YouTube yeah she made the gorgeous project and so happy yeah she's made this for me and this one and uh, my little Eunice and now she grown so bigger now <laughs> so yeah all this and let me show you another hopefully this is show my face this is another doll that my BFF wow before me so Victorian doll just love and all this is my treasure that my friend sent to me my dear sis Shoba and yeah a lot yeah many many different yeah i wish i have the time to take the video and this my dear friend bonnie sent me the fabric book another show bar so many yeah i have to take a video another yeah take my time to do a video to show you all my coaches and let me show you my messy table yeah look at this all this <laughs> Yeah, I have to clear all this stuff and we'll do the video and show you my craft room. You can see where I hang all the camera uh, that I have to uh, challenge a uh, couple of months ago. So yeah, so yeah, this is the my shabby shape and the lighting. I mean, because this outside is bright, I have maybe I turn this side, you can see, yeah, it's quite dark here. Okay, this is my shabby shade one, and my vintage one. So, yeah, just love everything here, 
and yeah thanks for taking your time to watch my video and subscribe and yeah please take i uh, mean uh feel free to let uh leave a comment and let me know what you think and just let me know which one is your favorite shabby shake or vintage and thanks again for everyone and if you like my project just give me a big thumbs up <laughs> and thanks again for everyone and i'll show you again okay yeah okay thanks again oh so dark okay bye bye